Wait a minute, we just need to go back to yesterday. Oh, okay guys, so we have rewound to the night before. I am getting into bed, it is half past 11. So I finished work at 10, came straight home. But I felt like I had a lot of energy when I got home because like sometimes when I'm finished work, like on a mid shift, like I haven't finished clothes, I still have quite a bit of energy because it feels like I'm busy, busy, busy. And then suddenly it stops. Um, and although today was a really chill shift, I still had quite a bit of energy at the end of it because I did sleep until about 11 today. Um, so I came home, I separated out the edge pieces of the jigsaw. I haven't made the edges, that's what I'm doing tomorrow. Um, but I prepared for tomorrow. So I've put everything away, my wash basket's full, ready for me to do tomorrow because my housemate's doing his today. I got like my gym clothes out, my uni clothes out, my bags are already unpacked and where they're meant to be. So everything's prepared and that's all I wanted to point out is that I have prepared everything in advance so that my return to uni is as smooth as possible. So me waking up in the morning and just getting out of bed is not as simple as waking up and getting out of bed is the steps I put in the night before. And I am trying to build that routine a little bit better. So that's all I wanted to say. So you can return back to me in bed now. Good morning. Your playlist. My likes on Amazon Music. Something that has become a recent staple in my morning routine is opening the curtain, turning my music on with my Echo Dot, which is next to my bed. And then taking my iron tablets, my vitamin D, anything that I need to take every day. Just so that it's like right next to my bed and right there so I do it. Otherwise I will forget. And yes, when I got out of bed this morning, I did hit my head on my brachial plexus that I built last year. So if you haven't seen me build that, it's in one of my vlogs. But then I start the day by just getting ready, doing my hair. I just really... The best part of the morning is putting your hair up or down or like styling it however you like it and getting dressed and just feeling refreshed it really helps set up the day good so i'm just reviewing my first two lectures and they didn't have flashcards so i feel like when i've been reviewing them and when i watched them the first one was like an introduction to the module so it's kind of irrelevant and this one is also similar like they're very much just getting you introduced to the module and what sort of things you'll be talking about. So these two lectures have been pretty chill. It's lecture three that I'm going to start watching in a minute, which is Moral Concern, where they start getting a bit more intense. So I'm going to watch that one, do some of the flashcards for it, and then I can start ticking things off on my list. But to get two lectures done already has been really good. These ones were really chill, like they were short lectures when I was watching them as well. So at least is that done. And... This is a little thing here. It's where I hit my head on my bedside table when I woke up this morning. Yeah. But we're back at uni and we're getting on with it, so fingers crossed. So I just got this in the post. So I saw it on TikTok and I was don't normally buy things on TikTok, but I really wanted this. So it's a very cute um little note, so thank you for buying it. Um it's called this Let It Go journal and on the right side it says meat therapy in a book. Um and I just I basically each page has a different question and then you answer the question and things like that and it's about being honest with yourself and I think I could sometimes really use being honest with myself because there's a lot of things that I think about and I feel and I really want to get them down on paper so that hopefully I can like let it go just a little bit let it go. So I got this. I'm going to do one a day for the next 100 days because there's 100 questions. So if that is the plan, I'll probably do this later. I obviously won't be sharing what I write. Just saying. So it's just gone 20 past 12. I've finished these three lectures and my Anki reviews. I've done some new Anki cards, but not 100. So I've done 31, which is for this lecture. I've got 14 cards to learn for this lecture. So I'll do this lecture, this lecture, learn these cards, and then to finish off the 100 new cards, the rest will all be anatomy based, because I haven't done any of the lectures yet. I then went on a spontaneous carvery. Okay, so I'm back from Toby Carvery. I went with a couple of friends from work, because I'm trying to like broaden my social circles. So I've done three out of five lectures for the day, and I've learned a couple of decks of flashcards. Learned, learned, learned. I did a couple of decks of flashcards that I knew. 
So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drink my pre-workout, get ready to go to the gym, pop to work quickly to grab something, and then head to the gym and come back and do the last couple lectures. I literally fully almost left the house without my keys just then because, you know, smart. Um, I'm just ready for the gym. I'll quickly film a clip at the gym or two, we'll see. Um, but I'm heading to the gym, it's a leg day. I'm also gonna pop to work and see my manager really quick. It's very boring this vlog, sorry, I'm, guy. I'm sorry. I'm getting used to vlogging again, guys. So at the gym, I did a leg day. I did do my Romanian deadlifts at 50, 70, some leg press, leg extension. Just wanted to get in a good workout. And then I had McDonald's with Alan when I got home. So I finished all my uni lectures that I wanted to get done today. All my flashcards that I wanted to get done today. And I'm sort of bed making a jigsaw. Um, just for a bit of relaxing. It is only eight o'clock, yeah. It's only just gone eight o'clock, so it's like, might as well chill out for a bit. With the vibes, I got my lights, my other lights, all the lights. I'm just using all the electricity at this point. Um, but I'm just gonna make it just my jigsaw and chill out before I go to sleep. Why do I always look so dead in the morning? There's a lack of sleep catching up to me. I definitely took that in a very dodgy way. It's almost eight o'clock. I just woke up at seven and I was like, why am I gonna go back to sleep when I'm like awake? This has been scrolling up my phone in bed. But yeah, it's almost eight. I don't know if I'm gonna get up yet. I don't know if I can be bothered. But, <sighs> So I just chill in bed for a little bit more. Brain behaviour, gym, and flashcards. So before I get into judgement, I do live off pancakes. Because it is a meal, a meal. It is a breakfast that makes me want to eat breakfast, which is what I struggle with the most, is wanting to eat breakfast. So I have caved and I eat pancakes every morning for breakfast because if we want me to eat breakfast it has to be something I want to eat. Hence pancakes. I don't even care at this point. I'm struggling. I'm tired. So today I had to do my SDL one, which is a self-dependent learning one, lecture one, lecture two, and my practical one on the clinical cases for Bab. So far I've done the self-dependent learning lecture one and the anatomy practical one, which is quite a lot to be honest. Um, I'm halfway through lecture two now and then I'll look at the clinical cases and see what sort of work I have to do with those and whether or not I'll do them now or if I'll wait until I've done more content. And then I've got my Anki reviews and my 100 new Anki cards for the day. It has just gone 10, um, so I've done about a few hours now because um, I started quite early today. So guys, <clears throat> I've been at this for a while now. Um, learning my new flashcards. I do 100 new ones a day is the plan to just try and do 100 new ones a day. I do mix those up half content, half anatomy because I do want like 100 new cards a day with content is quite hard, but 50 new content and 50 anatomy is quite reasonable. Um, I haven't done any of my reviews yet, I'm just working on these ones. And I've got about 30 left, and then I've got I think 100 reviews because of yesterday. Um, so I'll do those. And then I've only got half a lecture left and um, the clinical cases to look at. But I'm like really putting it off and being so lazy. I'm just like trying to get into studying and trying to get more focused. And I'm really like struggling to stay focused. I had a two hour nap, like 10 till 12. I just went to bed and slept because I was so like, I was still so tired. Um, so I know that me singing along to the song that's in the background you can't actually hear because it's copyrighted so I can't actually put that music in but this is like a little bit of a gym fit check so I'm wearing these Gymshark lifting club joggers I actually love them they're in size small I have these bow and tee black shorts they're in medium they're really seamless they're cute and I've got this green Gymshark short, short sleeve top that I actually adore like I have it in black and green um, and that's me flexing my non-existent biceps. But also look at that bruise. Like, honestly, I don't even know where I got it. It's just there. I just downed my pre. Um, I'm ready for the gym. Put my coat on because it's raining. I condensed my gym bag because I was in the mood to carry a little one. Not the big one today. Just if I'm not in the mood to take the big one. And my headphones on 
full charge, which is crazy for me. Um, and I finished almost all my work. I've got 31 flashcards left to review and half a lecture to do when I get back. I don't know if I should take my hair down or not, but I am doing... Nah. The lighting's awful, but I caved and got Mackies after the gym. Don't judge me, these veggie dippers are so good. I am actually horrendous at remembering to vlog. I'm just going to plop you there because I emptied my university bag. <laughs> I know the lighting is awful, but I tipped all my work stuff onto the floor. So I'm just having to like put it back in my bag. So I figured I'd just chat to you while I was down here. And the fact that like I'm looking in this bag thinking, oh my God, like there's so much change. It's just all my tips. I just leave them in the bottom of my bag. I've got like 15 pounds worth of tips in here. So if you ever steal my work bag, just expect a bunch of tips and they're all just in two piece. And they probably add up to quite a bit, but Oh, and a bunch of bent straws that I will just keep in my bag, even though I know I don't need them. Um, but yeah, I 100% just throw another change back into my bag because, you know, that's what put together people do. And I forgot to mention, my family are coming to see me tomorrow. So hopefully I'll remember to film a little bit more while they're here. I don't know if this makes sense, but like, don't you just feel like you don't wake up until you're like, this day So like... whole point of seasonal depression that there's no sunlight so people like don't wake up and they're not like happy anymore so i feel like waking up in like winter when it's cold and dark it's just so hard it is 20 to 10 i couldn't sleep last night so i didn't get to sleep till like half one in the morning i was just literally rolling around in bed just like struggling <sighs> but i'm just sleeping I slept eventually, which is about eight hours to be fair. Um, so I'm gonna get up and get ready because my pets are coming. They're like 15 minutes away. <sighs> Say hi to the vlog, guys. Did you saying hi to the vlog? Hi, hi vlog. <laughs> We're all just getting breakfast, lunch, but we're trying to decide between these and it's slowing down the whole food order. <laughs> After a very long time deciding, we all got our food. My brother got some uh, this chicken sandwich, me and my sister both got pancakes, my parents both got omelettes, and then my family, um, my dad and my brother mostly, shared these loaded fries, and then me and my mum stole my brother's plain fries. <laughs> And after that lovely breakfast at Paul's, we decided to head to Birmingham Wildlife Conservation Park, which I'd never been to before. My dad picked up the map. Like chewing, Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Are you <laughs> We're at the beginning. We're at the beginning. At the beginning. <laughs> it's not that hard. We're at Birmingham Wildlife Con Conservation Park, but yeah. Can't, can't speak. speak. Can't speak, can I go? No. 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 So, we're looking at animals because I love animals, if we're being honest. I like my favourite thing to do in my free time, look at animals and go to parks and zoos and stuff. So here we are, we're gonna go, oh, look at that one! I don't know what that is, but there's a thing. There's a thing with antlers, look! Yeah, should we look on here so we can figure out what it is? Sure. After that capybara trend on TikTok, I think capybara is like my favourite thing ever. Look at it! Oh my god! It's huge! Like what? What are you doing? Gabby Barra, Gabby Barra, Gabby Barra, Gabby Barra. Look at it! Hi, Mr. It's Wallaby. It's hiding! This is cold. Wallaby! <laughs> Do we think the lemurs are in the box? Yes, run. Josh, you wouldn't know he's 50. Oh, you're gonna run. <laughs> Oh yeah, two of them. Should not have worn white oh, shoes. Oh, lemurs! Oh, they're so cute! Oh, they look sad. They look so cute. The they're sad because it's cold. <laughs> look! Do I wave to the vlog in the mirror? No. What? How to call? Where's Ben? Hey daddy, you fit right in. They have stink lights. What? <laughs> you completely missed the huge porcupine. Yeah. Not, not blind at all. Look at all the cute little megas running around. Two over there. And two over there. Oh. 
that now go competition? Who can do the better gymnastics? Good on him. Basically, but now I can't see any of them. Oh! Oh! <laughs> We're in agreement. It's a snake. It's a tree bower. Two snakes. Two snakes. He's so focused. Come <laughs> on, a pet red panda. Look how cute that is. It's a red panda, right? Am I being stupid? Yes, okay, it's good. a red panda. I was going to say, guys. She's just chilling. It's better than the ones we saw in the Twilight Park. We're all in consensus that we just need a pet red panda because he's cute, isn't he? I have pet red pandas. Mm, I don't think you're allowed them. I don't think I'm allowed them, but I don't care. You can adopt this one in the gift shop. Yeah, we adopted a red panda. <laughs> but I want this one. Look how cute. Now we're looking at animal murder. <laughs> you're looking at the circle of life. Yeah. Circle. It's like Merlin. It's just bolted across, which your dad's not figured out. Well, do you want to pull the door? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's very small, isn't it? But I think it's cool. We've had a great time. We have had a great time. I can't time. be it. Surely. That must be Marta's. There's an ocelot in there. I don't see an ocelot there. No. No. It's clearly rather hidden. Well, we could go over there. Kangaroo rabbits, guys. Like big yeah, kangaroo rabbits. Oh, oh, look, that little one's looking at me. Four toys came out to play. He is actually a lot bigger than he looks on camera. I'm trying to think of something to compare him to. Um, like one of those small ride on toys for children. Yeah, <laughs> that's how big he is. You know what? Although small, we we really enjoyed it here, and it was very cheap. What was it? Four pounds something a person. I think for five of us, three adults, a student, and an under sixteen, it costs thirty five pounds. So I'd say it's a very good like couple hours out in Birmingham, even though the weather's not great. And look at the little ocelot just chilling. He's so cute. What did you get? Tell the vlog. I got a red panda. You got a red panda. Nicole? You got a red panda too. You both boring. I got... Red panda is the earth shot mascot, so... Mm -hmm. I got an otter because I watched the otter rip, that, like, rip the mouse's head off and now I want an otter. I always get my favourite animal from the place that I visit when I visit places that have animals. I know that was a really convoluted way of saying that, but... If you go books. back and watch my Greece vlog, I bought an animal in Greece as well. And the same for Mallorca, if you watch my Mallorca vlog. Long yeah, story short, guys, I go on holiday and you I get animals. Buy an animal. I get animals because I go to zoos and aquariums when I'm on holiday. So if you go to Hawaii, you're going to get an animal. I'm going to go to the zoo and the aquarium. Right. <laughs> oh. Are you going to hit the ball this time? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, there he goes. No, he what didn't do, do it right, so he's going to do it again. <laughs> okay, because it's a lot of like confidential information in this office, like obviously I'm not meant to film in here very often. Um, so in this like angle, you can't actually see anything other than our calendar, and even that has nothing on it. So I'm at work. I'm doing four till ten but i started at half three because as soon as i got here there was a fire alarm going off and i was like great i'll help um so half three till ten today just covering somebody who is on annual leave um and i've just sat down it is quarter to nine i've been busy since i got here so i did loads of stuff like just running around like little jobs so i'm gonna sit down chill for a minute eat some food then do some admin stuff for the job like marking off all the jobs that i just did is complete and making sure that everything's away and that'll probably be 10 because it takes a while to do all that. So, yay! Oh my god, I forgot to update the vlog. <coughs> oh my god, I'm dying. So, I'm gonna put you here. I am home from work. It is quarter past 10. I just put some food in the oven and on the hob because I am hungry. Um, and I'm gonna chill out, do my jigsaw, and do that because I need to get it done. Um, tomorrow, I'm meeting friends because it's my friend Afreen's birthday soon, so we're gonna go and see her and hang out before i have work at 12. oh it sucks 
but it's okay because it's the life I live. I'm okay. But yeah, I'm chilling and I'm home and I'm doing a jigsaw and I really just, I'm a very boring person. So basically this is me easing into uni work because I need to like ease myself into this. But next week I'll be going into university during the day and like, I don't know, just being like actually, I don't know, in uni, I guess it's hard to explain. But basically starting next week, I'll be going onto campus and staying on campus all day and having lunch there and stuff. It's just this week's been a bit all over the place with family coming down, friends going out and um, working a lot more than I will be um, and things like that. Because I wouldn't have done today's shift next week, if that makes sense. So we're making it work. We're trying. We're learning. I'm going to try and balance. We'll see what happens. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like, you'll just have to watch next week's vlog to see. I finished off the day by filling out a page in my let it go journal. I feel like I only need to do this when my mental health is kind of low because it lets me help get out emotions and things like that and honestly it has been very therapeutic so far. I really loved using it so I'd highly recommend this book. Here <laughs> is Andy and he's enjoying third year. I am loving it. And I'm not in third year but it's okay <laughs> because we're okay. Afreen and Umahan and we're gonna go into town and chill a little bit before I work because Afreen's birthday is tomorrow. So we're celebrating a little bit early. My 21st birthday. Did you know that before? Did Emily just ruin this? She reminded me. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, that is gonna be your 21st birthday, not your 22nd. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 21st. Okay, so we may have done something stupid. <laughs> but you know what? It gets worse. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, and a little bit worse. Oh my gosh. So, I am in my towel. Okay. You almost fell on my towel, almost fell. It was like, it was a double whammy there. So, ignore the fact that my hair above my head. I am going to do it. So, I'm back from work. This morning was kind of a busy morning. Like, at work, it's been pretty, pretty busy. So, I was on 7-3. Um, I'm home. It is half three. I need to get the train in 20 minutes to get into town. So I'm gonna quickly get ready for work and then head into town. I am picking something up from the Apple store. Great investment. Echo Dot, highly recommend. Because like, I just need music on when I'm doing things that are mindless, otherwise I just won't do them. So here is my playlist. So this is what I'm wearing for work. It's a left top, my Thatcher's lanyard, um, just some plain black leggings and my apron, black coat, I've got my bag. So I'm going to go get the train and then I'm going to go to pick up my big spend, don't judge me, and go head to work because I'm busy shift ahead, I hope, um, and if it's quiet then I'll be bored. So fingers crossed me saying quiet, it's just cursed as we get really busy. I just want to point out, I did work two full-time jobs for about 90 hours a week for about four or five months to be able to afford this new laptop. But I got home from work at quarter past two and then headed to my morning job, which is 7am till 3pm, where I unboxed my new laptop. And honestly, opening this, setting it up, using it, it's been so, so fun so far. I feel like it just helps refresh. This is the ultimate refresh button, just saying. Okay, so I am sticking to planning two weeks at a time. And I did do Monday's work today. So I have done this. And the Anki cards, obviously, I'm taking on last week's Sunday. So not Monday, obviously. I'm not doing Monday's flashcards on Sunday. That's literally impossible. So... This is what I'm working with at the minute, and I plan it two weeks in advance, so this is the week after. Now, 15th of January is the first week actually back in person at uni, so I've got my scheduled things, things that I want to get done, where I'm working, my Anki cards every day, vlogs, things I need to do. Like, on here, I've got my pick up my prescription because I keep forgetting to get my iron tablets, call about my phone bill, things like that. And when I'm working, which changes clearly, because I was meant to be on eight three. I swapped for a four twelve on the Friday. Um, so we're just we're just gonna keep planning two weeks in advance. So there's no point in me doing this week yet because I don't know what I'm gonna get done over these two weeks. So it makes sense, and uh, it's very pretty, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, and I know pretty doesn't mean a lot because it's more about getting the work done. But guys, if it doesn't look good, my brain doesn't want to do it. 
laptop is almost done updating. This is my new beautiful, beautiful baby. It does weird me out that it doesn't say MacBook Air here though. Like on my old one it says it here and it's like they made such a big deal about it, you know what I mean? Like, but yeah. So I just got home from work. It is quarter past three. Um, and I'm gonna, 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 oh, I hate that. Anyway, I'm gonna rub up the whiteboard, fill in this week's plan. Um, I'm going to tidy up my floor, get my washing ready. Everything I'm wearing smells like smoke because I had a fire alarm right about like half two. So that was fun. Um, but now I smell like smoke because of it because the flat was so full of smoke. Um, but everything's okay, no actual fire, don't you worry. Um, just my job which is kind of essential. Um. I headed to the gym and I wore the beautiful, beautiful ice blue Define leggings. I have never worn these before and I was a bit nervous about wearing them, but I really enjoyed the gym. I wore this jumper and a light grey sports bra too. So I did an upper body day. I did back, chest, shoulders, triceps. I did pretty much everything. So what you saw then was face pulls. This is my pull up. This is the first one I got of the day and I was like, okay, not really sure I'll be able to get another one. I took a good amount of rest and went for a second one. But as you can see, this one was a little bit of a struggle and I really did not even get there. Then I went on to bench press and I managed to do my PR of 40 for one. Again, this is ahead of a deload. So I'm trying to see what my PRs are at the beginning of the year so that I can set my aims for the end of the year. And this is me seeing that 40 for one is still really, really, really heavy for me. So I'm working on it, but I had a great session. You know what is such a vibe is putting on all your fairy lights, like proper girly girl and your lamp anything but the big light, getting into bed with all your uni work, about to prepare the week. I'm just in, it's just a vibe guys. And I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna quickly start out my new laptop and make sure everything I need is on it and that my laptop and iPad are both charged. Now my watch is charged, now my phone is charged, I've updated my whiteboard, that my plan has got everything in. Just so I know what's going on because it's going to be a busy, busy week. I even cooked dinner and had an amazing little meal before bed. So thank you for watching this vlog. I know it's been quite a long one really, but the next few vlogs are something to really look forward to with a lot more uni, gym, lifestyle, how I balance everything. So please come back and watch that. I cannot wait to see you again. Subscribe and go and watch my most recent video if you haven't seen I will see you guys next week.